In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your computer. So you're going to use the search area at the bottom of your screen, and you're going to type in update. And when you do, the best match comes up as check for updates. So you'll click on that. And then it'll tell you here you're up to date. Now, the one thing I would say is make sure that while you're signed in, you check for updates, you click this anyway. Okay, because um, automatic updates are turned off. So when we click on that, it's going to check for some more. If there are updates to run, they're going to show up in a line right here, and you have to let them run their course. And once they have, you'll need to restart your computer. If they don't, so after I clicked on check for updates, it came back saying I'm up to date. So you want to make sure you click that button just to make sure. So don't just trust it right off the bat where it says you're up to date. Click that button, click the check for updates, and it'll help you just verify that. And then again, when you're done, you need to restart your computer. In order to make sure that you're prepared for the SOL, one of the things that you need to do is make sure that you have TestNav. That's the app that we're going to be using during the SOLs, and you'll need to make sure it's on your computer. So the way that you can look for it is by using the search bar down here where it says type here to search. Just type in the words TestNav. You should see that it pops up right up here. And if you click on it, you just want to make sure that it opens and that it has no errors when it opens. So it should open like this. It'll bring you to a login screen. You won't be able to log in because you don't have your test ticket yet, but you can make sure that um, if there's a screen that pops up that asks you to choose your state, just make sure you choose Virginia and that this it brings you to this screen. Once you have test nav open and you've chosen the state of Virginia, because that's where we are, you'll need to then do a little bit of practice. So it's important to practice using the tools of the SOL so that you're familiar with them when it comes time to take the test. So you would click here on the SOL practice items in order to practice using TestNav. You can see there's a bunch of different things that you can practice doing. So let's say you're practicing the math test. You'll click on math, the latest one, and um, I'm just gonna choose any, any one of these but you should choose the one for the grade that you're in. So click start. You're gonna to agree to the terms and conditions. And click start again. And it's gonna bring you to these areas. And there's just a few tools that I wanted to point out. These tools up here are your back and next buttons. So it'll be blue if you're able to go back and you'll be able to click this blue button to go to the next screen. There's also a bunch of tools up here that you can play with. They're going to be different depending on the test that you're taking, but this pointer is always the one that you use to select different items in your test or deselect. You can also use the answer eliminator to cross things off as you realize that things are incorrect, and this is a good strategy for helping to focus on the things that could be. There's also a ruler that you can use to measure things and move around, or there's even one in centimeters. And there's also a straight edge in case you need to use one of those. So those are your math tools. Um, some of the other things are over here. You can click the play text to speech button. So you can have the text to speech. There's also a, a click to hear button, so you can, if you turn it on, then these will come up here. Um, you can jump back, skip forward, and there's also some more text-to-speech settings here. So if you need those, um, I definitely recommend playing around with them while you're actually um, able to practice with them. Some of the other tools are up here. The review button, if you click on it, you can see the questions that you have to answer. Now, there's gonna be more than one question on your actual test. And you can see on the bottom, there's like a key. So you'll have that orange dot if it's not answered yet. And so you just need to make sure that before you go to submit your test, 
you take a look and make sure that there's no orange buttons. If there are orange buttons, that means that it's something that you still need to answer. You haven't chosen a selection yet. Um, if you bookmarked something, and I'll show you that in a second, then I'll have that little blue flag next to it. And that was you reminding yourself that you want to go back to that question. So you can always go back to that question and bookmark it. You can also jump from question to question in the review pane. So if there was a bunch of questions here, I could choose one or another. If I wanted to bookmark this question, I just click the bookmark button and now it's bookmarked. Another thing you can do is select the exhibits area and depending on the test you're taking, it'll have information there for you. Um, for this one, it has formulas for this math test and some conversions or abbreviations here. Um, but we can take a look at another one just so you can see the different features in another type of test. So here's a reading test. If I go to click start, again, just agree, and this is how I'm going to look at things. So for this one, there's a passage, and then there's questions to answer. So when I click the next button, it shows me the passage here. So I can read the passage as I'd like. I can also highlight things and click that blue button. It'll highlight it for me. There's tabs, so pay attention to those if you see anything like that come up. I'm going to click the next button to see what comes next. And here's a question. So it's asking me to choose an answer. Now remember up here we have some tools. So I have the answer eliminator so I can choose to eliminate some things until I say, okay, that's my answer. And then I use the pointer to select it. And there's different types of questions too. Um, I'm going to bookmark this just so you can see what it looks like in the review. So notice how I answered this question and so the orange button went away and then there's that blue bookmark. So you'll notice here that this has some different options. So this one is not a multiple choice. And so for this one it says drag the correct answers to the boxes. And so well, I don't know if this is the correct answer or not. This is how you do it. You just click and drag, and you can always unclick it and pick different ones if you'd like. This is another example of something where I have to drag answers. And so make sure that you're reading the directions. So I like to highlight them just so I make sure that I'm doing the right thing. So for this one, it says direction, select the correct answers. Please note how it says answers, more than one answer. So which two words are synonyms for anticipation? And so for this one, I would just click the two that I think. So um, let's see. So if I selected those, I should be good and I can move on to the next question. For a question like this, it's going to have a fact and opinion bottom down here and it says just drag the correct answer to each box. Each answer may be used more than one time. So if I thought all of these were facts, I can keep dragging that fact button over so it just keeps replenishing. Or I can say, no wait, this is an opinion. Wait, let's take this one back. So, oops, <laughs> same thing. So this one's an opinion, etc. Um, so again, make sure you're paying attention to the directions. So you'll want to go through and you'll want to do a little practice area and it might even be a good idea to do one before each test. Now you have an option to go at, at any time. You can click sign out of test nav and you can go back at any time and select a different topic. So um, if I wanted to practice science, I could click on science and choose my grade and then start with my practice test. So you can do this as many times as you want, get a feel for the types of questions that they're asking, um, et cetera. So for example, if you were practicing with science, you would learn, okay, it says drag the top of each bar to show the bar height. So I'm making this graph. So um, it says number three needs to go up to seven. So see how these can drag to different heights. Um, I'm not basing it off of actual true answers. I am just playing around with the features. All right. And they have the same features, except you also have a calculator in here as well. So that's how you practice, and I recommend getting as much practice in as you can before the SOL. It helps to relieve some anxiety if you're feeling any at all. Um, 
because it helps you to understand what to expect and what types of questions they're going to be asking. Good luck!